Welcome to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to make your very own DIY Easter tote. So this is gonna be perfect for those kiddos to collect all of their eggs this year. So I've already cut out my design right here as well as the name. So this font and this file will both be linked down below and both of them are only one plus credit. Today we are gonna be using a canvas tote along with our bigger Cricut Easy Press. I've been getting a lot of requests to show you guys more with the Cricut Easy Press. I've been trying to do that. So I've got my Cricut Easy Press at 315 for 30 seconds. And what I'm doing now is I'm just pre-pressing for around five seconds or so. So we've got our tote all smoothed out here and we've already pulled out the moisture so this can cool down. In the meantime, let's go ahead and weed everything out. So what I've used today is some Caesar Easy Weed. I've got some white as well as some of Caesar's Sparkle. What's really cool about Caesar's Sparkle is it's glitter, but you don't have any texture. So it's gonna give us that little bit of um, zazz, but I can use the exact same cut settings as the Caesar Easy Weed. So I don't have to change my settings from Caesar Easy Weed to the glitter. I can cut them all in the same settings and I can press them all on the same settings as well. So that's what makes it nice. I don't have to bump it up and add more heat to these layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and just weed everything out here. And I'm also gonna throw in a bonus. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really quick bow as well, whether you guys are making a hair bow or a bow to add on your tote. All right, so I did the name all over this year. So I've got this, it belongs to nobody, but I'm trying to switch it up for you guys and throw in different names just so you guys can see maybe your kiddo's name. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and weed out our Caesar Sparkle. This is in orange and it is gorgeous. If you guys have not used Caesar Sparkle, you guys are missing out. So if you love Caesar Easy Weed, you guys are going to love this stuff. Hopefully you guys can pick up that color. Is it not gorgeous? Love it. All right, so we've got our cute little carrot here. I mean, look at this, adorable. All right, so let's keep on going. I've got my truck tires here. Now also, I'll have linked down below for you guys, one for a girl as well, if you guys want something different. This is a truck. We've got dinosaurs. We have all sorts of fun things, but I will try to link something down, maybe a little bit more girly. Not that girls are not into trucks, because let me tell you guys what, I have a little cousin that is obsessed with tractors and things. So I'm sure you guys may have a little girl as well. That's the same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this out of here. I've almost got it. This is a pretty beginner friendly file because you don't have a lot of small intricate pieces. Um, it definitely makes it very beginner friendly, easy to work with, just a couple layers. You could also weld it. I was trying to find this piece. I think it's on the back side. You can also weld it together and just make it one solid color if you wanted to. Um, the possibilities are endless. Another thing I think would be really cute is if you did these tires in the black um, glitter. If you did this in actual Caesar glitter would be gorgeous as well. Or even a pattern. So for example, I did this really pretty mint color for the truck, uh, but you definitely could do a pattern as well would be super cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and weed this out. Now I was trying to combine, I did the font in white, but you could do, you know, neon yellow or green as well, or even like a pastel. Uh, what I was wanting to do was I was actually gonna do yellow flock, but I did not have enough of the material to do that. But I definitely think adding an extra texture in here would have been nice. Now, yes, I would have had different cut settings and I would have had to bring my time up, but it would also make it look a little bit more special. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and weed out our last pieces here. I've almost got it all. And we've just got, I believe, just a couple more pieces. We've got our window. What I love about Caesar Easy Weed, it's definitely beginner friendly. So if you guys are new here, I highly recommend, if you wanna know what brand should you purchase first to play around and practice with, highly recommend Caesar Easy Weed because you're not gonna fuss around with it and feel like something's your fault. Um, you're not gonna have issues with any cut settings or anything like that. So I highly recommend you all check that out. All right, so here's our super cute truck. So let's go ahead and line this up to figure out about where everything is gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this lined up here. Get my carrot in the back of the truck. It's not actually perfect, but you get the point. And then I'm gonna line up my tires. So I am going to lay down the truck first and then what I did with the font here is you can actually come further down on the bag or you could come up on the truck and that's what I'm gonna do the way that I actually designed this out. So mine's actually gonna come up a little bit on the truck here in the center like so. 
So now once you have all of your pieces together, we could grab it as one file technically, and we can really figure out that placement. So I can figure out where I want this to go on the tote. So something about like this. Now I'm being mindful because this particular tote, you guys can see this is the bottom of the bag. So whenever it sets down, it's going to actually be like this. So you really don't want to come down when it comes to a tote bag. You really don't want your design to come too far down because it's going to, that part's going to sit on the ground. So always keep that in mind as well. All right, so we are ready to press our first layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all of our pieces. You definitely don't wanna press this together. It's going to stick to your plastic. I'm gonna remove all of this and we are gonna get ready to press our truck. All right, so we are going to carefully pull away our layers here and get those out of the way. All right, so we are ready to press. So I've got it 315 for 30 seconds and we are going to press. Now, if you were using a big heat press, you would wanna do around 311 for around five to 10 seconds. It really is not that long and it may be 10 seconds, I do believe. So at least do 10 seconds. Now we are doing um, several layers here. Now, because I am using Caesar Easy Weed, I'm only going to do a tack for around two seconds or so. So we are gonna go ahead and peel this back. So each layer is only gonna get around two seconds. I think I went a little further, but we're gonna do two second tack down. Um, and then we will, I'm gonna go get my carrot first. And you may actually be able to get multiple pieces at one time. So I think I can actually get my truck tires and the um, carrot at the same time. So um, we're only doing around two second tack down. Same thing if you were using a big heat press, you only need two seconds. So we are going to line this up in the back of our truck here. About like that looks good. And then I'm gonna come back in. You can actually come back in with the same layer that came off the truck or you could put down a piece of parchment paper, Teflon sheet to protect everything in your press. All right, so same thing. We're gonna go back on top again and I'm gonna press again for around two seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and peel. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this one here, our top coat. Everything is a hot pill whenever it comes to this. So make sure you pay attention um, to your material. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over on my granite just to cool it down a little bit. If you ever um, feel like your um, HTV is not sticking to your product and you've already done your tack down, everything else is working, um, make sure that you let it cool down and then come back and peel because this is not fully attached here. We don't need more heat. I just needed to let it cool down. So you guys see if I added more heat, you're, you don't need that. You just need to let it cool down. So for the tires here, I forgot, this is Cricut brand. So whenever it comes to Cricut brand, number one, you want around five seconds instead of the two second tack down. It does require a little bit more tack down I have found, um, but it works just as great. So we've got those down now, but if you're struggling and you can peel these easy, just cool these down and peel. All right, so here we go. We've got all of those pieces. All we have left is our Oliver. So as you guys can see, this in itself is adorable. Once again, would have been super cute as a pattern. Uh, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna add our Oliver, just like so, cute. So now we are going to come back in and we are going to cover everything back up. And this time we're gonna do the full press. So we're gonna do 315 for 30 seconds. All right, we are going to move this out of the way. And now we are ready to pill. So we're just gonna go over all of these pieces here, taking off all of our top coats. Now Cricut does recommend that you flip your garment over your substrate here if you're working with, say for example, even a tote bag. You're gonna press one more time for 15 seconds. So we're gonna press from the back side for 15 seconds. All right. Flip it back over and there we have it. So this is gonna last you a very long time. Now to make this bag extra special, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this little ribbon here that I've made right up here by the handle. You can stitch this on by hand or you can just add some hot glue and that's what I'm gonna do today. So on the back side here, I'm just going to flip it over, get me a nice little amount of glue here, flip it back and we are going to attach it right here to the tote bag. 
and just like that. See how extra that is? Now I did kind of a tone on tone with my ribbon here, but you could have definitely, you know, done something that was more Easter and things like that. Now for the bonus, I wanna show you guys how I made this cute little bow here. So what we're gonna do is scoot this over a little bit. I've got some ribbon and the one I'm using here today, I believe this is like two and a half. Oh uh, no, it's one and a half inches wide. So feel free to be, use as big or as little as you would like. It's gonna all work the exact same way. So what I'm gonna do is before I cut it, I'm going to play around with it to figure out about how big I need because we are going to make what looks like a um, awareness ribbon and then we are going to be able to create our bow. So depending on how long you want your little legs here. So say once I'm happy with this, I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna go ahead and cut. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that diagonal right away so that way it's already done. And then um, we'll get that other one here in just a little bit. I'll get that at the end. Okay, so what you wanna do is make sure your ends are nice and even. And then we are going to make ourselves an awareness ribbon, right? So you just wanna have this little bitty gap right here. So I'm making sure everything looks even. And I'm just kind of having this little triangle. So hopefully you guys can see, I'm gonna bring it up. It's that teensy little triangle there. So once you have this awareness ribbon, just like so, you're going to, um, you're gonna bring this top piece right behind. So I'm just tucking it right behind like so. And then you're going to go in here like an accordion. So you're going to just kind of press it like so in an accordion type method there. And then we're going to take these little bitty zip ties. These little zip ties are absolutely perfect. You can take a little string if you want to and try to tie it off. But these little zip ties are great to have on hand. I'll link some down below from Amazon. That's where I got mine from. And it comes with like hundreds in a pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of run this through. Now you don't wanna tighten it all the way. You just kind of wanna get a little bit of a tighten and you wanna have that coming towards the back by the way. That way you can let go before you tighten it all the way and you can, whether you wanna pull these out a little bit more, kind of you know spruce it up and stuff. Once you're happy with it, get it nice and centered back here in the back and really pull tight. So you've got it nice and tight there and now it's perfect. So at this point, before I cut that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my ribbon here and that way I can make it nice and even. And now I'll come in here and I will trim both of these together or maybe just the one side. So depending on how long I want my legs, so you can see I got those shorter. So maybe I wanna come up just a little bit more on my legs. So let's go ahead and do this. And I'm actually going to come right about here. And there we have it. So say I was happy with this, looks great. Once we're happy with that, we're going to trim this. And I'll link these below as well. These are the Fisker brand. Um, and then there you have it. So you can definitely come around here with a smaller piece, you know, fold this in half wrap it around here, hot glue, if you want to hide your zip tie. So feel free to do that as well. Maybe add a little um, you know, button or a little jewel or something like that. And then you're simply just going to stitch it on, like I said, with a few stitches or add a little bit of a hot glue. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.